think the team starts off with quite a bit of nerves. We had a failure in our front wing one day before going to competition, which it got completely wrecked and we had to build it again. Scrutineering always throws up things that you've got to try and sort of fix on the fly. Formula Student is an international design and business competition where university teams from around the country build a car and compete against each other. Uh, we're working towards a silver student competition. University of Bath Combustion, definitely. Oh, in terms of UK, Oxford Brooks has always been a, a big one for us. They've been a very, very strong competitor to us a number of years now. They had an excellent year last year and, and had an amazing result at, at UK, which we're very respectful of. And, but we, we always want to be, be pushing them and, and, and we want to try and get one over them this year and beat them at UK. And uh, last year we managed to get the edge of them at UK and they overall as a standard at UK v University. So then we're very proud of They push us to do better, they, we push them to do better. It's a great rivalry. There's several elements to a Formula Student competition. There's a business element, which is where you look at the uh, design and business and cost of a Formula Student car. And then there's the actual dynamic events, where we can race our car in a straight line, race it in a figure of eight, a one lap, as fast as you can lap. And then there's also the endurance event, which is 22 kilometers going as fast as you can. The first big thing we looked at was the shape of the chassis. We've chosen to go for a full carbon fibre monocot. Quite an exciting thing to do. It gives us a lot of freedom with where we place things. We use inserts to attach components, so we can put them pretty much wherever we want, which gives us a lot of flexibility. And it should also be lighter and stiffer than other structures. We then kind of focused on the shape, ensuring that all of the powertrain could fit in and that we could put the VD geometry points exactly where we were going to gain the best performance. Once that sort of shell of the car is made, in terms of all of the mechanical bits and bobs, it's all of the instrumentation and control stuff that gets unpad on top of that. We use RS to purchase a lot of our wires and connectors that we need to be able to take data from the sensors off the, off the engine and feed that into our ECU system and dash system. And that sort of process will happen in sort of March, April time, towards the end of the build, once we're sort of finishing up and looking ready to fire up. As part of VD Manager, I'm doing the suspension geometry this year. So that's positioning all the wishbones, anti-roll bars, and getting the right kinematics out of it. So it gives us a good idea of relationships between things, so if we change something like camber or toe. But a lot of our final tuning is done on the car, so we'll take that to our airfields, where we do on-car testing, and we'll try and back up and validate our simulation that way. So I'm in charge of the whole car when it's being built, so I We'll assemble everything together and make sure it's in running condition for when we go to the track. My role is to make sure that when everything does go wrong we get it sorted as quick as possible, as efficiently as possible and get back on the track. I think the team starts off with quite a bit of nerves. It's the first time we've worked together as a class one team. We had a load of static events in the morning. First thing in the morning you get up and you've got to try and present your ideas to the judges, which was a bit nerve wracking, but I think we came through it quite well. The stage run at the moment, scrutineering, again, nerves are being racked a little bit. You want to make sure that you're safe and legal to be able to compete. So the judges are sort of working their way through. So far, so good, but we're just making sure that we come through in fine colours. Obviously, as this being a motorsport competition and it being a sport, you always face challenges along the line. So actually, one day before going to competition, one or two days, we had a failure in our front wing, which it got completely wrecked and we had to build it again overnight. We had a team of engineers working 24-7. And this was just one of the many challenges that we faced across the year. We know that it's the best way of learning is when not only your technical skills, but your human skills play a lot this game and it's what differentiates a well-performing team with a normal team and we want to be a really well-performing team this year. I mean there's always little kinks and this morning with, with the static luckily it went quite well. Routineering always throws up things that you've got to try and fix on the fly. Most recently some of our work with our side pod needed to be corrected because there was a safety issue with that. End up being a small bit of bent aluminium plate that we've managed to put in there and that seemed to have solved the problem. Quick fixes, trying to come up with quick solutions, so communication is really important. I decided I wanted to work in Formula One while I was at school. We have people going to all places this year, to Racing Point, Renault, 
Williams. As a university, we've got a graduate in every Formula One team, which is a stat we're really, really proud of. And then got a placement at Williams, uh, and I've come back and used that experience to kind of guide my third and fourth years at uni. I got a, an interview thanks to Formula Student. All of the questions that they asked were about challenges that I faced, my greatest weaknesses, my biggest goals, or my biggest achievements. And I related all of them to Formula Student. When you're in an environment such as this, when everything changes all the time, it's really, really good. And it just gives you the CV and the person that you want to deliver to the company. And it got me a placement. I really, really look forward to the start in Mercedes High Performance Power Trains and to keep seeing where all the students in this team go. Yeah, I think we won our first endurance, so wow. I reckon we're pretty happy. Yes. <laughs> yeah.